Okay, so this tutorial is going to show you how to create a photo montage like this. And you can see it's a series of tons of different photographs, tons of small zoomed in photographs that have been placed side by side and overlapping with each other to create one big picture. And it's not seamless. You can see where the edges of the pictures are all over the place, but it gives it this really, really nice effect. And it's kind of a, a beautiful photographic technique. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, uh, I'm going to show you something for uh, a little tip on how to shoot these kind of sets. Okay, we're going to compose our picture maybe out of uh, 40 different pictures with our camera. We're going to take a bunch of different pictures. And you want to have the camera zoomed in. So right now I've got these rectangles here. What these represent is what you're going to see in your camera's viewfinder for a single shot. And so imagine each one of these is a photograph and they're going to end up kind of overlapping like this. Now, you don't want to have your camera zoomed all the way out so you see a whole bunch of information all at once. You want to really have it so it's zoomed in. Let's see, get the, the same size there. Um, you want it to be really zoomed in. That way, uh, you know, if you had them really large and you had several of these and they overlap, you're just going to put together a whole bunch of pictures right on top of each other and it's basically useless. So we want to be able to just get rid of those. We want to be zoomed in so that we're only seeing a little bit of the whole landscape. And when we take the shots, we want to make sure that we take one and then I can see an edge of information here. I'm going to take the next shot where I can still see that same piece of visual information. That's peak of the mountaintop. Then want to take the following shot, I want to make sure that it overlaps as well. If I don't overlap, say I've got a gap like in here, or I go to the next one here and there's a gap here, when I go to put them back together, you're going to be left with some white space and that's going to be uh, not good. So make sure that these are overlapping a decent amount. And for our purposes, for the panoramic landscape we're going to do, I want you to take 40 shots. Uh, between 40 and 60 will be enough to really get something nice that looks like this, okay? So, now what I've done is I've got a small set of pictures I've already taken. Let's go ahead and close out of this. And these pictures are just some really, not really great ones. I just took them in the computer lab here. But they're going to be good for uh, just kind of demonstrating the uh, basic techniques for this. And I've only taken 13 just for uh, speed's sake. So the first thing we need to do is look at this file size. And all these pictures I've taken are decent size. They're you know about a megabyte and a half. I'm going to shrink them down a little bit so that they fit better into our uh, Photoshop file so the computer can handle it better and that is the main reason. Um, also you'll notice that I've got them in a folder named Photo Montage Pics. They're all sorted together. There's no pictures in here that I don't want. That's important because we're about to do a process that's going to convert them and we don't want to waste our time. So we go to Photoshop go to our file menu and drag down to scripts go to image processor now with the image processor we're going to select folder I'm going to go over to my finder here and I'm just going to click and drag this right over there and click choose so I've selected my photo montage pics folder I'm going to have save and same location turned on and then save as JPEG. Now if we shot these in RAW or some other different camera format, save as JPEG, we convert them to a JPEG. These are already JPEGs, but rather than leave them at full quality, we're going to pull them down to about a half. We're going to pull them down to a six. So that is going to make them a lot smaller. Now if you know the exact um, size of your frame of your image, if you do Command I on this, you can see these images are what does it say? 3,072 by 2,304. So you could do a little bit of math and divide that number by like three and then punch those same punch those same things in here to resize to fit and it would keep it proportionally the same size or the same ratio but you'd be able to shrink them down that way. We're just going to do it with quality for now since we'll be using a, a variety of cameras for this project. So I'm just going to hit run and it's going to automatically open every picture in that folder and save a shrunken copy of it. Again, it's a, a little extra step, but it's going to make this whole thing work a lot better. 
Okay, so we'll just give it a minute, and that's another reason why I only use 13 pictures for this demo. So I'm gonna do File, New, and I'm gonna set uh, my canvas size to something pretty huge. I'm gonna do, let's do 30 by 15 inches is fine. 300 pixels per inch is also fine. I'm gonna hit OK. I'll title it Photo Montage. Okay, and at this point, keep our layers here. I'm gonna to have to bring those pictures in. And if we go back to the finder, you'll see photo montage pics now has a folder in it called JPEG. And instead of 1.5 megabytes, they're all about half a megabyte now, give or take. So now I wanna bring them in here. I don't wanna just drag them into Photoshop. I could bring them in and copy and paste one at a time. It's gonna take forever. So I'm gonna show you a trick. If you go to File, Scripts, uh, Load Files into Stack. Okay, I'm going to do file, browse, go back to my finder, take my JPEG folder, pop the JPEG folder in there. Make sure you don't take the original folder, you want the shrunken ones. And I'm going to do Command A to select all. Now let's grab everything in that. Uh, and I'm going to hit open. You can see it's got them all in this list here. I hit OK. And again, it's going to do a little script, process everything. And if you watch my layers over here, you can see. It's just stacking them in. So we'll just give that just a second. And here we go. So now at this point, uh, they've all been put in this new file. I'm going to put them in my photo montage file that's in this different tab here. So I'm going to click on this, go to the bottom, hold shift and click, and it selects all of them. And I am going to right click. Uh, oh, just kidding. I'm going to do Command A. It's going to select everything here. I'm going to do Command C to copy everything. And I'm going to flip tabs and do Command V. And just kidding. That's not working. Okay, well, forget that. This other photo montage file, that was useless. My mistake. So we're just going to go up here. We're going to go to Canvas Size. Set our width to 30 by 15 and command zero, zoom it out. Now I've got what I want. So, um, at this point, these pictures are still too big. So I'm gonna click and drag over them and make sure I have all my layers still selected. And I'm gonna go to my move tool, make sure show transform controls are on and hold shift and click and drag it down. If I don't hold shift, it's gonna get squished, right? So I gotta hold shift on the keyboard to constrain proportion. Okay, now that's a manageable size. I hit return, and you can see it shrunk all of them since all of those layers are selected. Now it's processed. Um, okay, so now at this point, if you go by layer, you can click on separate layers and start pulling these pictures out and trying to sort them. And you might want to just kind of stack them out uh, in some sort of an order. Now it could be frustrating. You'd be looking at this picture here and say, I want to move that. I'll click on that. And it's moving this one down here. To change that, turn auto select on and now whatever I'm clicking on you can see in the layers panel it automatically selects that layer okay so I'm just going to uh, start arranging these out into some sort of an order mm, let's scan a piece goes over there and at this point it's just kind of like a puzzle and I, I really enjoy doing this thing it's pretty fun um, that piece is going to go there that's part of that one, and this one is somewhere over there. Okay, so you can just kind of arrange them into a, a pretty neat grid. Uh, I think this is part of this guy over here, and just try to like organize them as best you can. Now at this point, this is where um, some layer management tricks are going to come into hand uh, into play. So if you click this folder button here. I'm going to make a group and I'm going to call it right. And over here, I'm going to make another folder called left. And I'm going to click and drag outside of these as a series of them. And you can see it's selected all these layers. And I'm going to drag those into left. Okay, and I'm going to turn left off. Okay, I think this one also belongs in left. So drag that in there. And I can turn that off. The rest of these, I'm going to click and select over. I'm going to drag them 
into a folder called write. And this is going to allow me to sort of chunk things together and kind of simplify what I'm working on. So it gives me some workspace and kind of lets me think. Okay, very important. So now at this point, um, if I've got left group selected, it's going to treat this whole thing like a single layer. I need to go in and uh, adjust these separately. Now you can see if I click on one of these individually and then click off of them and grab it, it's grabbing the whole thing even though auto select is on because auto select is set to group. So set that to layer and now it is basically just a process of layering these pieces together. Okay. Not sure entirely where that one goes yet. Oh, these are going back here. That's where that's going. Okay, that's part of that scanner. Now you can see this piece is on top of it and I don't really like what's happening there. It's a little confusing. So I can just drag that layer below to a certain degree until I get it to where I want it to be. And now I'm gonna go back and turn my right on. I'm gonna turn my left off. And let's get this back row going here. Looks like those are gonna line up like that. Scanner goes, let's get this whole scanner piece together. Somewhere like that. Okay, and keep in mind, it does not have to be perfectly lined up. We're going for a work of art here. It's gonna have some artfulness to it. Okay, now at this point, it appears that I may have left a gap, which I was warning about earlier. Uh, I try to jam it in there, try to uh, yeah, something funky is happening there. Basically, I have failed you. Um, but we'll get that pretty close. We'll just pretend like this. We'll get. We'll jam it in, and it'll be. It'll just be part of our art. Okay. So now uh, I'm gonna turn this back on. Take this whole left group. Oops. Set my auto select back to group. Move that group around until I can get that group together. Uh, let's see, I think this is actually, go oh, I didn't fail you. I see, this just goes on top of all of that. And then uh, these pieces back here, those need to go. Okay, so set this back to layer. Click and drag over these pieces. These pieces are gonna end up going like over here somewhere. Set this back to uh, group. Try to put that group on there. And I'm gonna just tweak it up a little bit since I intentionally jammed it, since I thought I was experiencing epic failure. Let's just pull this back. Try to get those lined up a little bit nicer. Uh, turn group left back on. Set this back to group. And, uh, okay, just kidding. It appears that I have failed you. Okay, well at any rate, um, you're basically getting the idea for what we're doing here. At this point, I'm just kind of having fun with it. Um, you're gonna pull these final final pieces together. For your project, I wanna see something that really shows an entire scene. So you're gonna have this whole area, and we're actually gonna shoot 180 degrees, and I want you to have 40 to 60 pictures in there. Okay, remember, you're gonna bring them in there. You're gonna run file, scripts, image processor, set those settings properly, check it out and then file, scripts, uh, load files into stack, and then let's dump them in there, transform them down. And at this final point, you can go in with your crop tool, since we've got so much extra canvas space, and we can just select over this thing and crop it down. Okay, now if you wanted to add a background, of course, like a new layer, go in there with the paint bucket and paint it in white or perhaps maybe better as black. Up to you. Okay, thanks for watching.